Welcome to module 5 of Infernia's training sessions. In this video, we will be understanding how to render your model and create different elevations. This is the 3D model of the kitchen we had created in our last session. Let's try to render it. All elements like tiling, ceiling, furniture, etc. has already been added in this. For generating proper renders, the two important factors are light settings and material properties. First, let's add some lights to this render. Click on insert and choose lights. You will get a variety of options and can choose what type of lighting you want to add. I will select ceiling light too. As per the type of light, it will automatically align itself to the ceiling wall or floor. Since I have selected ceiling light, it is now added to the ceiling. I am placing it in the middle of the room. Select the light again and the additional properties option here. Under change properties, you can see the different changes you can make to the light source. You need to first set the intensity of your light. For a kitchen of this size, 0.35 to 0.4 would be ideal. Also, let's change the light color to white. You can manually input the RGB values or select using the color picker. Let's also add strip lights in the cabinet. Select the cabinet, go to additional properties, add strip light. Select the option. Select the strip light again and click on the add option next to lights. Change the intensity as required. 0.05 to 0.1 would be ideal. Change the light color as well. We have dived into the details of the other parameters in our advanced tutorial. Next, let's move to material settings. Click on the materials tab in the bottom left of your workspace. Select materials and all the textures used in your model will be shown here. Let's select light wood which has been used in the base unit shutters. In the pop-up that opens, you will see the various material specifications. These are the factors that determine the finish of the material. Opacity is used for materials like clear or tinted glass etc. In this case, where there is a laminate to be used, it will be one. Specular defines how light reflects and highlights on a material surface. So for materials like mirror, this will be close to 1. In our case, we can keep it as 0.1 to 0.15. Roughness demarcates the difference between matte and glossy finishes. For example, for completely matte finishes, input 1. For completely glossy finishes, input 0. Metalness indicates the quality or degree of being metallic. Suppose if you have a steel or copper finish, you will be adding this quality to the material. In this case, I do not need it. Refractive index indicates how much light will be absorbed by the material. Lower refractive index values means more refraction and higher values equal more reflection. For example, for glossy laminates, this will be higher since the reflection is high. Transmission defines how much light is allowed to pass through the material. In this case, zero. Once you have set these details properly, let's set the view of the render. Align using pan and move to fix on the angle of your render. Then you will see free view on the bottom of your screen. Free view means you can move around and model in this view. Click on the plus symbol next to it to create a view. Your view is now created as view 1. Click on that to select that view. Then select the settings button next to it and check the lock view option. Now your view is locked so that the view you have set does not change. You can go back to free view to make any changes to the model again. You can also rename the view if you want. Go to the renders tab and select render. The pop-up will ask you in which resolution you want to render. We would suggest you to take a HD first to check the render for lighting material etc. Your render has now started. Once the render is complete, you can view it in the gallery tab here. In this way, you can create renders of your entire model. If you want to create angles of particular walls for rendering, you can put the models of your opposite wall in one layer and hide it. This will create 
ease of rendering for small rooms with less circulation space, for example, this parallel kitchen. Next, how to make elevations. Let's go into the flow plan view. Select the elevation option next to 3D. Then add elevation view. A cursor will appear in your modeling space. The pointed side indicates the viewing angle. Click to add it. Then rotate it to indicate the correct view to get the elevation of the required wall. Once done, you can go into elevation again and select elevation 1. Your entire elevation is created. To add dimensions to this drawing, go to Enote and select Align. Click on the start and end of your required dimension. When you click on any dimension, you can make changes to the font, size, etc. of the shape. In this way, your GFC drawings can also be done. When you have completed your entire design in detail, you can get all required production details under the production tab like pricing, cut list, etc. simply by selecting the tool. It generates all details without any further input from your site, considering these details have been inputted from the admin side of your organization already. In the advanced version of this tutorial, we have dived into each of these. Thank you for watching.